Hi, I'm Clifford Newman, Associate Professor of Engineering Practice and Director of USC Center for Computer System Security. I'll be talking about Computer Science 530, Computer Security Systems, which is required for the MS in Cybersecurity Engineering in the Informatics Program. It's also required for the Computer Security Specialization within the Computer Science MS Program, and it's open to students in the General Computer Science MS and PhD programs. This course is an overview of network and distributed system security, what it is and how it works to protect data and computing resources. As you well know, system security gets more critical every day. We keep hearing about big corporate or government systems being hacked, either to steal high-value financial data or expose sensitive personal information. Ransomware extorts money from individuals, businesses, and government agencies. Malware attacks target and disable critical infrastructure like the power grid. And new technologies like self-driving cars take these vulnerabilities to a whole new level. That sparked demand for people who really understand system security. The need is particularly intense among healthcare, like hospitals and insurers, where lives and privacy are at stake. But it's also true in other industries, such as car and truck manufacturing, banking and brokerage services, and airline operations. The same goes for the public sector, where voting systems integrity is now Exhibit A in the U.S. and other nations. Many security courses outside USC focus on tools and technologies that can be added to plug system holes. That amounts to closing the barn door after the horse is bolted and probably has run many miles away. Instead, we look at how to design securable systems. Our focus is to understand a particular system security requirements and architect each system to ensure the most appropriate technologies are deployed for maximum impact. We start with basic security building blocks, including cryptography, identity management, and policy. Then we shift to the criminal view and look at approaches for attacking systems and ways to detect and contain them. We wind up by delving into technologies that support system integrity, along with security for critical infrastructure like the power grid. By the end of the course, you'll know the right questions to ask when designing a security system. You'll broadly understand the kinds of tools that can help protect a given system and how to judge whether a tool is suitable for a given application. You'll also grasp the fundamental math and engineering underlying security systems overall. This course is for anyone who plans to design computing systems that must be secure. In other words, anyone planning to build systems or software. That's probably you. Meet you in class.